Hi guys and welcome to another video. Before we get into the video, I do want to put a disclaimer out there that there are some graphic clips in this video, so viewer discretion is advised. Now, to get straight into the video, I'm showing you guys here a clip of when my betta fish was completely healthy and happy, and unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. So when I first acquired my beta, I saw that he had a small blue dot right on top of his body. And since it was the color of his tail, I didn't think much of it. I just thought maybe is just part of him. It turns out that wasn't the case. So I began to dive into research and I joined a couple of fish communities, spoke to some experts and determined that this was a tumor. Now there's multiple reasons why a tumor can happen in a fish but uh, it could have been genetic, it could have been caused by bacteria, and the solutions were very, very slim. There wasn't really much room for solutions. It was either you cut the tumor off or you put the fish to sleep. And at this point, the tumor wasn't bad enough for me to say, well, I'm gonna put my fish to sleep. So I collected all the information I needed to collect, and today I'm going to be removing this tumor from my fish. And these are some of the supplies that I put together and I'll be using for this tumor removal. Uh, I've set up the shallow bowl. Uh, all of the water is treated already and I'm going to be using clove oil to anesthetize the fish so he'll be completely asleep while we are removing this tumor. Clove oil is very potent so a few drops will do the trick. Uh, I'm just going to stir this water around to make sure that you know, the clove oil spreads around. So I am going to transfer my fish now to the shallow bowl with the clove oil in it. And I'm just trying to figure out the right amount of oxygen just so that the movement of the water doesn't freak the fish out. And I have a little bulb that I control how much oxygen is goes into the bowl. I'm going to be using my hands to transfer my fish. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Uh, only because when you use a net, they tend to lose a lot more of their slime. So in order to prevent that, I'll be using my hands. It's been a few minutes and you can already start to see my fish it's dozing off to its side. Now I'm not gonna take him out of the water just yet until I'm 100% sure that he's not awake anymore and he's not feeling anything usually by trying to grab onto its tail. If there's a reaction or any sort of jerking, you can see that he's still feeling. So at this point, um, he's not feeling anything. He's completely asleep. And I have wet the surface of the paper towel just so that uh, he can preserve some of the slime on his body. I sterilized all of the equipment that I'm using just in case you guys were wondering. And I am using this uh, X-Acto knife. It's extremely sharp, but even with as precise and sharp as it is, I still have to be extremely careful um, to make sure that I'm not cutting anything extra or and trying to get to where I need to get to. You also see me spraying some of the water onto the fish. Now this water, is, I'm taking it from the glass dish that you see right next to the blue one, and that is clean conditioned water. Uh, it doesn't have any clove oil on it, and I'm doing that to make sure that he preserves uh, the moisture in his skin and his scales, and he doesn't dry out. Now, the removal of, the, of this tumor is not a guarantee that he's cured or that it won't come back. Uh, there is a possibility that it could come back, but I needed to remove it because he it was affecting his swimming. He was swimming sideways. He wasn't eating properly. And hopefully this will be able to help him get back to normal. So I've placed him in this uh, clean condition, shallow dish so that when he starts to wake up, he can easily swim up and get a breath of air. And I'm also going to help him remove some of the oil and clean his gills. So I am shooting some clean water into his gills so that it can wash out the clove oil and help him wake up. So I'll do that for his mouth and for his gills. And I'll do that a couple of times 
Uh, but I'll also leave him to wake up on his own. And while he's doing that, I'm going to prep his recovery tank and I'm going to be mixing some salt and aquarium salt and water. And I'm not going to be using all of this salt. I'm going to dilute it and use what I need to use, but it will help him with the stress and the healing. So I'll do that while he's waking up and he's starting to wake up. So that's really good news. Uh, don't worry guys, there's enough water in there for him to swim upright. It's just, he's, it might seem like he's in a bit of a panic mode, but it's just him waking up from the anesthesia. Meanwhile, I'm going to add some Indian almond leaves into his recovery tank. He's going to be in this small bowl for the next 24 to 48 hours so I can monitor him closely before putting him in his tank. I have a thermometer in there and this leaf, like I'll tell you guys, he loves the Indian almond leaves. And here he is 24 hours later. The Indian almond leaf is what makes the water turn that color, which is completely fine because it helps him with healing and he's about to have his first meal. So I wanted to make sure that he was okay eating. So I waited 24 hours before feeding him again. And I will be back with an update a few weeks later. So here we are two weeks later and he has been back in his tank since day two after the surgery and he's been doing great, eating great and the tumor hasn't been growing. So I'm, I'm not keeping my hopes up because there is still a chance that it might grow back, but at least I know that this time around the surgery was successful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out. And does that mean that what you saw in this video is the solution to any little bump that you see on your fish, no, I'm not a veterinarian and I'm not a specialist. I just did a lot of research and my fish came out great from this surgery and I am just happy and I hope the information was able to help you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss out on another video and I will see you guys in the next one.